The resultant of two vectors is the largest when the angle between them is A, 0 degrees, B, 45 degrees, C, 90 degrees, or D, 180 degrees. To answer this question, it'll help to draw some vectors. So if we had one vector to the east, say 7 meters, and then we had another vector, say 3 meters, also direct to the east. This would correspond to an angle of 0 degrees. If we add these two up, it would give us a value of 10 meters. If we did, say, 3 meters to the west instead, that would correspond to a value of 4 meters to the east. So we're trying to look for when we have the largest possible value. So here we've shown that if one is 180 degrees out of sync with the other one, that is going to reduce the value. So it'll wind up making it smaller than the one of the vectors itself. So D is not right. Putting one 180 degrees out of phase of the other will not create the largest possible vector. If now instead, say we had two other vectors, one was a vector of 3 meters, and we had a second vector of 4 meters directed at 90 degrees here. If we found the resultant of this, this would be 5 meters. But take notice that if we lay the 3 meters and the 4 meters all in the same direction at an angle of 0 degrees, this would add up to 7 meters. Now we see that the 7 meters is greater than the 5 meters, so here this 90 degree angle doesn't create a greater vector than if they were both in the same direction. If we lay something at 45 degrees and we had the 3 meters here and then we had one here that would say 4 once again our resultant vector would be something along the lines here but this vector is smaller than the magnitude that we would have if we lie them both down along the side here so once so even 45 degrees doesn't create the largest angle so we see here through steps that we take that if you set it off at 90 degrees, that'll also reduce the overall angle, uh, overall value. So, and while if we laid it down at 0 degrees, all of them in the same direction, we would get the largest possible value. So our answer is A, 0 degrees.